Hello and welcome to this Sims 7 product update for the summer 2024 release. In this session we'll be looking at a new version of the seating plans report that has been brought into Sims 7. So let's begin. If we first navigate to tools examinations we can now see on this menu route we have the new seating plans report available to us. If we open up the report once loaded, users will be familiar with the typical parameters that are available in that of exam 6. So we have room, the date range. It's important to note the date range picks up from the default season. So if we go to tools, examinations and PI setup, we can examine what the current default season is, of which we can see is the June 2024. It's also worth noting that the folder set for performance reports is also going to be the area that this report will output to. We go back to the seating plans report. We also have the option for sitting, so we could choose whether we only wanted to look at AM or PM reports. And we've got the format of invigilator or display. If I set this to a date of which I know I have an exam sitting, and in this case I'll leave it as an invigilator display. If I hit run, like with other exam reports that have been brought into SIMS, we can now see the output of the exam report directly here in the window in SIMS 7. The look and feel of the report will be exactly the same as that of it being run in exam 6, so users should be familiar with the way this works. If we were to navigate through the pages, we can see where that typically splits, and there is also an additional page added to the end, indicating the students that have access arrangements. That being said, if I was to now zoom in on the grid, what we can now see by introducing this report into SIMS is we've appended a asterisk in front of all students on the invigilator view that have an access arrangement. Any student that has square brackets around their finish time indicates where there is additional time recorded for the student as well, making it clear and easy to see on the report directly where those additional requirements are necessary. As mentioned, if I was to navigate over to the latter page of the report, we can see a list of the students in the exam that have access arrangements, an indicator that shows whether or not there is extra time required, and then any additional comments that have been added against the access arrangement. We can now choose to export this, and by bringing it into Sims, we have two options. We can either do it via Excel, or we can do it via PDF. In this instance, I'm going to choose to export the seating plan as an Excel file. This indicates the export location as we previously looked at in the PI setup. If I was to now open that location, I can see the exported seating plan as expected with invigilator mode identified in the output file as well. Now we have the seating plan in Excel, we can choose whether or not we want to make any further changes and manipulate it. In this instance, I'm going to copy the contents of the page split from sheet two, and I'm going to append that onto the end of sheet one so that we have got one large seating plan for the exam in question. I can extend those columns just to keep the formatting the same across the board. Naturally, we can make any adjustments to this if there are any necessary for the invigilators in question, or whether or not it's desirable to have it looking slightly differently. Part of the power of being able to bring this directly into Excel is that with those new data items of the asterisk and the square brackets, we can make changes based around conditional formatting, making it quick and easy to identify where there's additional requirements. In this instance, I'm going to choose to format cells that contain specific text, and I'll use the tilde to identify the character in question that we want to utilize, and then the asterisk. So we're going to put conditional formatting for any student that has an access arrangement allocated. I can choose to format the cell in question and I can then fill it with a particular colour. I select OK and apply. We can see immediately that in the background any student with an access arrangement identified now has a different fill colour making it quick and visual for an invigilator to be able to identify where there is an additional need. We can, however, take this one step further as well. If we create a new rule and follow a similar pattern, specifying specific text, but this time identifying with a tilde and a square bracket, we can choose to format the cell where additional time is added with a slightly different color, in which case I'll pick up a salmon pink. Selecting OK, if I then apply that rule, 
we can see where there is a student identified on the seating plan that has an access arrangement but also has a different finishing time to the other students, making it very clear where there may be an additional requirement in that instance. As mentioned, in addition to the actual seating plan itself, there's an additional sheet with the extra report on the back that indicates the access arrangements of the students, so these can be printed out for the invigilators also. It is worth noting that on the standard display version of the report, no access arrangement information, nor asterisks or square brackets will appear on the report. If you have any further ideas or feedback, please do let us know via the ESS Ideas portal or via the Sim7 Satisfaction Survey. I hope this has been useful. Thank you for watching.